did you choose this topic? As I explained in the background section of my board, I already showed interest in COVID and the vaccine, especially as it was so topical. I kept hearing about people who were anti-vax and others saying things about 5G and Bill Gates. So, with some help, I decided I would find out all I could about it. What do people think of the vaccine? What do they know? What do they believe? What was your hypothesis? And was it right? I originally thought that the youngest generation would be the most pro-vaccine, but have the least amount of knowledge. This was mostly right, but they were less pro-vaccine than thought. I thought that the middle generation would have the most information and anti-vax. They did not feel that they had all the information, but they did have the most anti-vax of the three. Finally, I thought that the oldest generation would be the most supportive of the vaccine and have very strong opinions of the government. This was entirely true. What were the main ideas behind your study? Summarise, my science video takes a deep dive into the COVID-19 vaccine, what people's opinions of it are, decisions surrounding it, and how the different generations' views and knowledge varies. Sure, I made a survey, compared it to other surveys, did a whole bunch of research, and discovered really interesting things, but that's the core of it. How do you go, um, how do you go about making your survey? Well, I began with demographics, gender, age, and ethnicity, all the things I was looking into. I added questions based on five core subjects that covered everything I wanted to know. I then added questions from two other studies to compare to. Once it was finished, I sent it out and the answers came flooding in. If you had to do your science fair again, what would you change? Would you keep all the basic principles? If I did do it again, I do think that I would keep the same ideas. I would make it more structured, look at the topic even closer, ask more questions, and try to spread it even more across NZ. Selection bias was a big setback this time, so I wanted to get more people involved, most of which would be complete strangers. What were your overall results? In terms of demographics, I was pleased to see that gender and age are pretty even for the most part, though I can't say the same for ethnicity. Most people, th most people think that children should receive a vaccine, but the youngest generation are the most untrusting of it. Most people agreed with our rollout, and my survey was the most pro-vaccine compared to Australia, Canada, and the UK. Finally, when asked what side effects they knew of, my respondents knew far more fever-related symptoms compared to a local survey. What are you most proud of? I have to say, I am most proud of how much I managed to achieve. I took on quite a bit of work and managed to get a pretty good result out of it, I think. Is there anything else you would like to say? I would like to take a moment to quickly thank my family, neighbours, teachers and peers. And an even bigger thanks for my mum, who is an integral part of my project.